Special thanks to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tofu here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare aircraft tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Boeing E3 Sentry. The Boeing E3 Sentry is an American airborne early warning and control aircraft developed by Boeing. E3s are commonly known as AWACS, which stands for Airborne Warning and Control System. Derived from the Boeing 707 airliner, it provides all-weather surveillance, command, control, and communications, and is used by the United States Air Force, NATO, French Air and Space Force, and the Royal Saudi Air Force. The E3 is distinguished by its distinctive rotating radar dome above the fuselage. Production ended in 1992 after 60 aircraft had been built. In the mid-1960s, the U.S. Air Force was seeking a aircraft to replace its piston-engined Lockheed EC-121 Warning Star, which had been in service for over a decade. After issuing primarily development contracts to three companies, the U.S. Air Force picked Boeing to construct two airframes to test Westinghouse Electric and Hughes competing radars. Both radars used pulse Doppler technology, with Westinghouse's design emerging as the contract winner. Testing on the first production E-3 began in October 1975. The first U.S. Air Force E-3 was delivered in March 1977, and during the next seven years, a total of 34 aircraft were manufactured. E-3s were also purchased by NATO, uh, which added up to 18, the United Kingdom, which used 7, and France 4, and Saudi Arabia 5. In 1981, when the last aircraft had been delivered, E-3's participation in the Persian Gulf War played a crucial role of directing coalition aircraft against Iraqi forces. The aircraft's capabilities have been maintained and enhanced through numerous upgrades. In 1996, Westinghouse Electric Defense and Electronic Systems Division was acquired by Northrop Corporation before being renamed uh, Northrop Grumman Mission Systems, which currently supports the E-3's radar. So the E-3 Sentry here, of, I would say a pretty um, iconic aircraft in today's battlefields. Um, I feel like most people know it just because of the giant radar disc and mainly makes it a very distinctive aircraft. And when you see it, you're like, yep, I, that's the E3 Sentry because there's really very few, if any, aircraft out there that uh, really look the way this does. Um, overall, it's a pretty cool build and should be a fun one. I know it's been asked for for uh, probably quite a long time now uh, around the channel and various times. So happy to finally deliver on that and um, give that to you guys all here in this uh, form of this really nice model. Before we go and jump in and take a look at this aircraft, I want to go ahead and give special links to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in uh, supporting the channel more you already do and earning a vehicle request of your choosing every month you're a patron, I would recommend going ahead and checking out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so, as I mentioned, earn a vehicle request of your choosing as well as a few other perks. Uh, I definitely... Uh, appreciate my patrons and they really do help support the content on my channel and they bring you guys a lot of really cool builds such as the e3 century and a lot of the builds that we've been doing in the past that a lot of you have been excited about so definitely feel free to check that out again as i mentioned links are always in the video descriptions and um you know look forward to seeing you over there without that let's go and dive in here taking a look at the e3 century as you can see we have both basically a landed and in-flight version available for you guys so you'll be able to pick and choose whether or not you want to have this aircraft landed or if you want to have it um, in flight. Um, so both of those will be available to you. Uh, we went ahead and went with a kind of two-tone color. It's got a white underbelly. Uh, the color gray is really a little too dark for what the color of the E3 Sentry is. However, it's not really white. It's kind of a in-between white and stone color. I felt stone was the best to kind of show that contrast um, and between the white undertone and that... Um, you know main color uh, so that's what I went with um, obviously it's not perfect color wise but it really is unfortunately the best we got um, due to the limitations here of Minecraft um, so very similar to that of the KC-135 uh, the fuselages or just the aircraft in general the airframes are pretty similar to each other some of the notable differences here are going to be these uh, kind of more slimmer and uh, smaller engines mount on the wings and just a few other little differences obviously this is uh, not a refueling plane so it doesn't have that boom on the back there uh, but lots of nice detail in it, um, you know, nice detail in the wings. We have the U.S. Air Force right on the side here, these little um, pods that pop off the side here. The uh, Ray Dome itself looks pretty good, uh, pretty happy and with the way that uh, that came out. Uh, we have the little National Star Insignia on the side of the aircraft, obviously little door access doors and stuff like that, and the tail on the back of the aircraft here, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, has the uh, tail number, 
the uh, base it belongs to um, with the two letter um, identifier and also see the flag and the tail flash so uh, pretty cool design uh, overall for it and overall I really do uh, like this design and it's going to be a really fitting uh, aircraft to have on any of your modern warfare uh, type bases or uh, even flying over your modern warfare build, uh, air bases or really just air battlefields surveying and uh, basically providing a command center in the sky for them. Without further ado though, let's go ahead and move into our tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so moving into our first layer, we'll be going ahead and beginning with layer 4. Now we're starting with layer 4 because it gives us a better basis of the aircraft and really the next or uh, the bottom layers here really are kind of mainly involving the engines and a little bit of the fuselage. I think it's just best to start at this point so that it's a little bit easier for us to go ahead and kind of uh, build off of this um, and get a nice basis and idea of the scale of the aircraft and all that stuff. So layer 4 is going to be our first layer. And before we go ahead and get started, if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the first thing I want to mention is that I like to build these half on, half off. What this means is for the uh, pretty much majority of the tutorial, we will be building only half the aircraft. We'll be building the center line and then the entire right side. It'll be up to you guys in between layers to copy what we do on the right side over to the left side across that center line. It's pretty straightforward and once we kind of get for the first few layers, it should be a little bit more apparent as to what we're doing to make a little bit more sense. Uh, but it just, uh, you know, helps speed up tutorial time uh, for me and quite frankly, both sides of the aircraft are completely symmetrical. So whatever you do on one side will be done on the other. And uh, the last thing I want to mention is if you do want to build the land version, we will be putting the land gear on at the end of the tutorial as a modification. So what this means for you, if you're going to go ahead and get start, start building this, we want to make sure that if you want to build this landed, you need to build layer 4, 4 blocks up from the ground. So we have 1, 2, 3 full blocks of space in our 4th level from the ground level. We're going to place down this, uh, or we're going to place down our uh, first layer, layer 4 here. Very important, if you build this one block too high or too low, it's not going to sit properly when you go to put the landing gear on, so just keep that in mind. Obviously, if you're building the in-flight version, you don't have to really worry about that. Just make sure you have enough clearance and you're not going to hit the block height limit or whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a smooth quartz full block. We're going to go ahead and then place down a quartz upside down stair, two quartz top slabs, and an iron trap door. One thing I want to mention is anytime I mention quartz, we are going to be using smooth quartz. Smooth quartz has a better flow to it than the standard quartz, which has those harsh lines that are between the blocks. So make sure that at all times you're using smooth quartz to get that nice, um, clean look to the aircraft. Um, so yeah, just want to mention that um, so that there is no confusion. Um, anyways, after that we have our front kind of done there. We're going to go ahead and then count back from this quartz full block, building a long row of smooth quartz that's going to go all the way back for a total of 45 blocks. So uh, 45 blocks and uh, basically from this block here, if we count this block, it'll be 46 uh, quartz blocks back from this quartz upside down stair. So that will be our center line there. On the end here, we're going to place down two quartz top slabs, come off this last quartz block, a diorite wall. We're going to go and skip a space and then place down another diorite wall like that for our center line, like so. At this point, we're going to go and start working our way out to the sides. We're going to start off by placing down an iron trap door next to this quartz top slab. And after that, we're going to go then place down two quartz top slabs um, back from them. So we're going to go one, two quartz top slabs. And then taking our smooth quartz stairs, we're going to place down a row of smooth quartz stairs that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, smooth quartz stairs back, and then we're going to then place down a smooth quartz upside down stair, corner stair like so. After that, we're going to take our smooth quartz blocks, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Smooth quartz blocks back, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 quartz up downstairs, and then 1, 2, and 3 quartz top slabs, like that going back. After that's done, we want to go then grab ourselves a iron trap door. We're going to go into the side of this second quartz block here and place down an iron trap door like so. Followed by a quartz top slab, and then after that quartz top slab, we're going to take our quartz full blocks and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, um, or actually, sorry, it's just going to be 17 quartz full blocks. So right here, we have this row of 17. And then after that, we're going to then place down two quartz upside down stairs. So one and two upside down quartz stairs. And then we're going to then place down two quartz top subs. So one, two going back and then an iron trap door like that. After that, going back up to the kind of semi front here, kind of more midsection of our aircraft for our wings, we're going to place down a quartz top sub coming off that first quartz full block there. We're going to then place down a second quartz 
top side back, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Quartz full blocks back, and we're going to then place down a row of 5 quartz top subs. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And after that, we're going to then place down an iron trap door like so. Next row here is going to be a iron trap door coming off this top sub, and then a second iron trap door here. We're going to follow this up with a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 quartz top subs, and then 1, 2, 3 iron trap doors. Next row here is going to be a row of 1, 2, 3 iron trap doors, like so. Uh, then a row of quartz top subs, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and 8. Like that going back. So like so. And then so we'll make some quick adjustments here to the front section up here. So this front section, we're actually gonna go ahead and uh, adjust this by going ahead and deleting these two iron trap doors. We're gonna place down two quartz top slabs in their space, then an iron trap door right here, and then these last two iron trap doors there are gonna be replaced with two quartz top slabs. So it should look like something like this here. Um, I do apologize for that little mistake, but you know they do happen from time to time. So right there should be the front leading edge of the wing. Then back here, we're going to take our iron trap doors. We're going to go back one, two, three, four, and five iron trap doors like that back. Next row here, we're going to place an iron trap door coming off the second one. Then two more backs. So you have row three. Then one, two, three, four, five, and six quartz top slabs. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven iron trap doors. After that, our next row, iron trap door to the side of this middle uh, trap door like that. And we're going to then place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, then it's going to be 9, 10, 11, and 12 uh, iron trap doors back. Our next row here is going to be an indent to our third iron trap door, which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 iron trap doors back. Next row here is going to be on our second iron trap door to the side. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 uh, back. And then lastly, we're going to go to our third iron trap door from the front here. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 iron trap doors. Or sorry, my bad. 5 iron trap doors like that to the side there. So looking at from above here, this is what you should have for your base layer for um, the fuselage. And with that, we're going to go ahead and start working our way out to the engines. Now for our first inner engines here, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to this iron trap door right here. So not the last one in this row here, but the second to last. We're going to count out 4 blocks. So same thing over here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now at this point, we want to go and then place down an iron trap door, like so, a quartz slab, and an iron trap door after that. We're going to go and then place down one and two quartz full blocks, and then two quartz, or two smooth quartz slabs to the sides here, so not stairs, but rather two smooth quartz slabs like that. After that's all done there, uh, we're going to go and then place down a uh, additional three quartz full blocks going down the center, and then one, two, three quartz stairs, and then one, two, three quartz stairs. We're going to then place down a quartz stair here, and then a corner stair to both sides of that stair, just like that. With that out of the way, uh, we're going to then grab ourselves some stone, um, and we're also going to need polished andesite. We're going to place down a black concrete block here, a iron bar, just like that in that location. And, or sorry, rather, more coming off of it like so. And we then want to go ahead and place down a stone stair here. So after that stone stair, we're going to place down another one going forward, and then same thing over here, two stone stairs. And then on the very end here, we're going to place down a polished andesite stair like this to both sides, and then an iron trap door directly there in between those polished andesite stairs like that. After we have uh, that all done, that's going to do it basically for the start of our inner engines, and we're going to go ahead and basically now build out to our outer ones. And our outer ones, we're going to, go ahead and start off by going to this iron trap door. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 blocks out to the side, so like that. And we want to go and then grab our, uh, go to the other side, and we're going to do the same thing. So from this row right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now for these outer engines, they're going to be obviously a little bit different, as these engines do sit a little, um, a little higher. Uh, we won't be basically building the tops of them. We're kind of actually in the midsection of these engines. But basically after that row of 10 building out to the side, we're going to go ahead and place down three black concrete blocks, just like so. We're going to place down a quartz block coming off the center one, and then we want to go and then grab ourselves a skeleton school. We're going to place down a skeleton school in the center, coming off that quartz block, and then an iron bar to both sides like that in front of those black concrete blocks. After we have uh, that all done, we're going to go and then place down a quartz block going back from the center here, and then taking our, grabbing ourselves some diorite walls, 
We're going to place down two direct walls like that to both sides. We then want to place down uh, three rows of three, of course, full blocks. So one, two, and three. And then after that, we're going to go and take our black concrete and we're going to do a row of three down the center. So one, two, and three. After that row of three, we're going to then place down uh, two quartz full blocks. One, two, come out the first ones. One, two. Then a direct wall to both sides. And after that direct wall, we're going to go and grab ourselves an andesite wall. And we're going to place down an andesite wall to both sides. Come off that black concrete block, we're going to place down a stone button coming off the side of it, just like so. And now once we get to this point, uh, we kind of have a little bit of a technique here. And this is going to vary depending on what version of the game you're on. Now, if you're on Java, we have a special tool we can use to go ahead and basically activate the iron trap doors without any redstone. However, if you're on uh, Bedrock or Pocket Edition, I'd recommend using birchwood trapdoors for this next step. For these trapdoors, we're going to place down two birchwood trapdoors here. One to come off this black concrete block, one off this iron trapdoor, and also one that will be coming off this space, like so. And we also want to place down a trapdoor on the inside here, like that, to go ahead and kind of help shape our front engines. Now, if you're on Java, we have access to something called a debug stick. So we can go ahead and do the slash give space app p minecraft colon debug stick. And we should all try to autofill. We can press tab and it should fill in the command for us. Press enter and you get this kind of glowy, flashy stick. Now, what we can do here is we can place down iron trap doors on these blocks here and then use our debug stick. We'll go ahead and left click until we get to the option selected open. And it should currently say false. We, if we right click, it will say open to true. And basically, we're going to go ahead and place down our iron trap doors here, just like we placed those birchwood trap doors. And we'll basically create the um, intake here. So, like so. And boom, just like that. So, basically, you have kind of two options of how you can go about doing this. You can use the birchwood uh, trap door technique, or you can use the iron trap doors. Either one will work. Um, obviously, iron trap doors are going to be a little bit better in this situation, but depending on your game version and your limitations, uh, birchwood trap doors will be a good alternative to go ahead and do. Anyways, at this point, we can delete any markers that we use to build out to the sides and all that fun stuff. Same thing over here on this side. As you can see, and once we have that all com completed, that right there is going to conclude what we have here for uh, layer number uh, four here for the build. Taking a look at it from above, this right here is what it should look like for the top down view. And just make sure you take what we do on the right side here, flip it over to the left side, and you'll have that complete. Anyways, with that, we're going to go ahead and basically start dropping our way down uh, layers and start working on kind of continuing to work our way down the aircraft and build our engines and the bottom of the fuselage and stuff. So with that, let's go ahead and dive down to layer three and uh, continue on with the tutorial. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our next uh, set of layers, or our next layer, I should say, we have layer three. Layer three is going to start off with us going to the bottom of the fuselage of the aircraft. We're going to go ahead and count down our center line after that quartz up down stair. One, two, three, four, five, six. And our seventh quartz block back, we're going to place down a direct wall that comes down from it. We're going to skip a space of two, so one, two. And then our next block here, we're going to place down a direct wall. Again, skip two spaces, so one, two. We're going to go ahead and then place down a direct wall underneath this block. We're going to go ahead and uh, skip a space. And then we're going to go ahead and then on our second block from that wall, place down a iron trap door. This right here is going to be a row of iron trap doors that's going to go ahead and extend toward the rear of the fuselage. And this right here in total is going to be 21 iron trap doors. So this one, uh, basically one, going all the way back to 21 right here. Then to the sides, we're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door coming off the second one here from the front. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 iron trap doors on the side there. And that right there is going to basically do it for the bottom of our fuselage of our aircraft. At this point, we're going to start moving into our um, engines. So our inner engines here, uh, we're going to basically do the same thing we did for this engine. So for this, uh, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to take our black concrete, place down a row of three underneath here. So right there under that section, a smooth quartz full block right there, followed by a skeleton skull coming off of it. And we then want to grab our iron bars and place them down to both sides. Now again, depending on what game version you're on, we can place down three birchwood trap doors along the side here, like so, and then one on the inside, like that, or we can do our iron trap door technique and our debug stick. Again, either one of these will work. And just because you're on Java does not mean you have to use the debug um, stick here. Um, obviously that's something that isn't uh, required. Uh, you can do the trap doors if you prefer, 
um, or the Birchwood trapdoors if you rather use those instead. So just note that just because we're using it on Java doesn't mean you have to do that if you're on Java. Uh, we want to go and then place down a smooth quartz block here in the center, followed by a diorite wall to both sides. We're going to then place down three rows of three of smooth quartz full blocks. And then we're going to then place down two iron trapdoors here, or two birchwood trapdoors, again, depending on your uh, version. We're going to then place down a row of three of black concrete down the center, one, two, three. And then to the sides, one, two, quartz full blocks, one, two, and then a diorite wall to both sides. And then come off those direct walls, we're going to place down inside walls, continuing to go back with a stone button right there in the center. And after we have that all done, I do believe there's supposed to be an iron trap door over this section as well, or a stone slab. Uh, give me one moment and I'll come back here with a definitive answer on that. So for some odd reason, uh, this uh, didn't transfer over, but basically all that's going to be here is a polished inside slab coming off that one right there. Um, and that'll be basically on both sides there so let's go ahead and make that um, addition onto the uh, previous layer and that right there is going to do it for our inner engines like so moving to our outer engines we're going to basically do what we did up here on t on the top section basically on the bottom um so it's pretty much going to be the same exact thing so we're going to go ahead and grab our polished inside stairs we're going to place down an upside down stair here to both sides like so uh iron trap door in the center between those stairs and then after that uh we want to go ahead and then place down our stone stairs, which are going to be a row of two, so one, two, and one, two. Black concrete block here in the center, and then we're going to then place down a iron trap door to both sides there. After that, uh, we're going to then place down our quartz stair here, quartz corner stair, to both sides, and our stair back from that quartz stair. Go ahead and uh, just adjust this like so to go ahead and get it to work with us, so like so. Quartz block there in the center. And then after that, uh, we want to go and then place down two additional quartz blocks down the center. One, two. Two quartz ups down stairs to both sides, like so. A uh, row of two quartz blocks down the center. Quartz slab. And then two quartz top slabs coming off the side of those two quartz blocks. And then lastly, a polished inside top slab coming off the last quartz top slab, like so. And that right there is going to basically do it for the bottom there of that engine. Um, and that's really all we have to do for that. Uh, one thing also is we can take our iron trap doors and to kind of go ahead and just finish off the bottom of these engines We'll just go ahead and place down um, One two and three iron trap doors there on the bottom So pretty straightforward and simple stuff for that anyways that right there is going to conclude layer number uh, Three and with that let's go ahead and move on to layers one and two All right guys so moving into layers one and two these layers here are going to basically just involve us doing the bottoms here of the inner engines so basically the same thing we did for those outer ones we're just going to go ahead and do here so we're going to have our upside down andesite stair like this to both sides like that an iron trap door there between those stairs and we're also going to have an iron trap door on the bottom of that one like so we're going to go then go back from this bottom iron trap door one and two more so you have a total of three there we're going to place down two stone upside down stairs come off those polished andesite stairs going back like that and then in the center space here we're going to place down a black concrete block and then iron bar like that um, to basically fill that space in. Now once you get to that point, uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a quartz upside down stair in this spot like so. Followed by a quartz upside down corner stair to, or uh, stair like this to both sides. So we're just going to place it so it's like this to both sides. We're going to then place down three quartz full blocks going down the center and then one, two, and three quartz full blocks, one, two, and three upside down quartz stairs like that. And then one and two quartz full blocks down the center, a quartz top slab, and then a polished andesite top slab. And on the sides of these two quartz full blocks, we're going to place down two quartz top slabs like that to the sides there. And once we have that all done, that right there is going to basically include what we have there for uh, layers one for two. And that will pretty much make the, um, the engines there uh, for both sides. Uh, with that all or with the, uh, I should say, the inner engines for both sides. Uh, with that all complete, though, that is going to conclude layers 1 and 2, and with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on up to layer number 5. All right, guys, so moving into our next layer, we have layer number 5. Layer 5 here is going to be a bit of a trickier layer as we do start to get into our wings, and pretty much for, for me and any large-scale aircraft, the wings are always going to be the most tricky part. So definitely take your time and pay close attention to this layer because one false thing and uh, your whole layer could be off for... Um, future things to do or the future layers uh so make sure it's pretty correct and uh you know we'll get through it as best we can so let's go ahead and uh, start the suffering together uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the front and we're gonna do our center line 
So we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz full block on top of this iron trap door from the previous layer. Or from the uh, layer 4 there. We're going to go ahead and place down an air quartz full block, a quartz upside down stair, quartz top slab, and an iron trap door there to make the front section there of the center line. We're going to leave the uh, fuselage for the most part hollow. Um, obviously I'm not going to do any interior for this, but you can um, try to do an interior and stuff like that if you do want to. On the back here, we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz full block on top of this direct wall, a second quartz full block back, a quartz upside down stair, quartz top slab, an iron trap door, and that right there is going to make your uh, rear uh, portion of the center line of the fuselage. After that, going back into the front, we're going to place down an iron trap door coming off this quartz top slab. To the side of this, we're going to place down a quartz top slab, and then a quartz upside down stair. After that quartz upside down stair, we're going to go ahead and take our quartz full blocks. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six quartz full blocks like that down the side. We then want to grab our quartz top slabs. We're going to place down two top slabs coming off the sides of those two last two quartz blocks. And then taking our quartz upside down stairs, uh, we're going to place down a row of upside down stairs. That's going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten quartz upside down stairs back. We then want to take our quartz full blocks, we're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34 quartz full blocks back. And I actually went a little bit too far, uh, we're going to go ahead and dial this back a little bit, and it actually should stop at this point. Um, so let me go ahead and give you an accurate count here. Um, so, of course, full blocks in total should be 26. So, just go ahead and remove 8 off the back there. So, again, 26 quartz full blocks back from that stair should stick one past this iron trap door on the rear. With that done, we're going to then switch to quartz upside down stairs and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 quartz upside down stairs, followed by 1, 2, 3 quartz top slabs, and then 1 and 2 iron trap doors. The center, uh, or the section right here, we're going to go one, two, three, quartz full blocks next to those, next to those, um, top slabs there. And actually this, uh, we're going to do two and then a quartz upside down stair like so. After that upside down stair, we're going to place down a second upside down stair, quartz top slab, and then an iron trap door after that for, um, the back there. So just like that. And that right there is going to kind of be the main portion of the fuselage. At this point, we're going to go and start working our way into the wings. Um, so for this, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished anisite slab here, full block behind it, and then we're going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 stone blocks back, an anisite wall, and then 1 and 2, like gray stained glass panes, and then a skeleton skull like this to the side there. And after we have that complete there, we're going to go ahead and continue working on our wings. We're going to place down a polished anisite stair here to the side, a polished anisite full block behind it, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Stone blocks back, so let me just double check our count here. Should be 13. And we want to go then place down two stone slabs, 1, 2, going back like that. Our next row is going to be a polished black stone slab on top of this iron trap door. Then going back from it, we're going to place down a polished anisite block. Then one, two, three stone blocks. We're going to go then place down a red concrete block. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stone blocks back. Um, or seven and then eight stone blocks back. And then a row three of stone slabs. So one, two, three. Next row out to the side is going to be a polished anisite slab right here. It's polished anisite full block behind it. Then two stone full blocks. A red concrete block, and then going back from the red concrete, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight red concrete blocks back. So in total here, we're going to have a row of nine there, like so. Then after that, we're going to go and then switch to our red nether brick slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three red nether brick slabs after those red concrete blocks. Uh, once we get to this point, we're going to go then place down a uh, polished anisite slab right here, followed by a polished anisite full block directly behind it. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Stone full blocks back. So just like that. And just make sure that that's not all messed up there. So it looks fine. Um, so after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone slab here. And then two polished anisite slabs back after that. 
Our next row is going to be a polished andesite stair coming off the side of this block here. Then going back from the polished andesite stair, we're going to place down a polished andesite full block. And then taking our stone blocks, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a row of stone blocks. That's going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Stone blocks back and then two polished andesite slabs. Our next row is going to be a uh, polished andesite slab coming off the side of the stair and then a polished andesite full block like so. We're going to go then take our uh, stone full blocks. We're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Stone full blocks back. A smooth quartz full block. And then we're going to go and place down two polished andesite top slabs like that on the end there. After we have uh, that all done there, our next row is going to be a polished andesite top slab, which will be coming off the side of this full block. So top slab here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Smooth quartz full blocks uh, back. A smooth quartz top slab. And then we want to place down two polished andesite top slabs like so. Uh, then at this point, uh, we want to go ahead and uh, move to our next section here, which is going to be this row of quartz, which is going to be a row of five blocks right there after those iron trap doors. So out to the side here, we're gonna place down a polished andesite top slab, which will be coming off this one, like so, and then a second one back, like that. We're gonna then place down a quartz, smooth quartz top slab, the one, two, three, four, and five, smooth quartz full blocks. After that, one, two, and three quartz top slabs, and actually we're gonna make that four quartz top slabs back, and then two polished andesite top slabs. Our next row to the side here is going to be a quartz, a row of two quartz top slabs. So one, or polished andesite top slabs. We have one here, and then one back, and then we're going to then place down uh, a quartz top slab, then two quartz full blocks, and then one, two, three, four, five, and six quartz top slabs back, followed by two polished andesite top slabs. Our uh, next row after. This here will be a iron trap door, or sorry, a uh, polished and top slab coming off the side here. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine quartz top slabs back, and then two polished and top slabs like that on the end there. Next section, we're gonna take our iron trap doors, we're gonna place down one, two, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven quartz top slabs, then two polished and top slabs, and then right here, one and two iron trap doors, and then one, two, three, four, five, six quartz top slabs and then two polished andesite top slabs. After that, uh, we want to go and then place down a iron trap door. That will be coming off the top of this one, followed by behind that a stone slab. So we'll go ahead and grab one of those real quick. We're going to place down a stone slab behind it. If you're on Java, we're going to place down a piston. If you're on uh, Pocket Edition or uh, Bedrock, I would recommend grabbing yourself a stone stair wherever we have one. I don't think we actually have one here. Uh, so we'll go and just go to our crate menu and grab one. So uh, either a piston here or a stone stair, either one. Um, but we're gonna leave the piston like that for right now. After that piston, we're gonna then take our stone blocks. We're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six uh, stone blocks back, and then one more to make seven. And we want to go and then place down two blocks above this space right here. So just like this. On the bottom of those, we're gonna place down two pistons. Again, if you're on a different version, I would just place down two stone full blocks right there instead. Um, instead of those pistons, and then after those pistons, we're going to place down a stone top slab, like so. So again, I'd probably put, if you're on a be bedrock or pocket edition, I would place down probably a stone block here, and then a stone upside down stair like that. If you are on Java, I would recommend placing down two pistons, like so on the bottom. We're not going to touch those pistons just yet, we're going to leave those alone for the time being, but we will be coming back and adjusting those in the future. After this though, we're going to go ahead and take our iron trap doors, we're going to place down one, two, and three iron trap doors back. After we have that done, we're going to then place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven iron trap doors like that to the side. Our next row here is going to be a row of one, two, three, four, five, six iron trap doors. We then want to go ahead and do a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six. Going back after that. And then we're just going to go to the second one here from the front, one, two, three iron trap doors to the side. So we're just going to go ahead and leave that as is for right now for our wings. And that right there will basically conclude what we have there for our wings. Here's a top down view of what we should have. As you can see here, it's a little, um, it's, a li it's, it's definitely a little tricky. Um, 
obviously this right here would be or could be stone as well quartz works um as well but just kind of make it both the same on both sides it should look something like that so um again that's our top down view there for the wings again i know the wings are very tricky um and it's integrated as long as you pay attention and uh, you take your time with them they shouldn't be any uh, real difficulty so anyways that right there is it for that um, we then have to go to our outer engines and basically build up our outer engines. So basically the same thing we've been doing here uh, that we did on the previous inner engines. We're going to place down a polished ant and sight stair here to both sides. Iron trap door there in the center. We're going to then place down a iron bar here and then a black concrete block behind them. We're going to then take our stone stairs and place down one and two. Stone stairs one and two like so. After we have that done, we're going to then place down a row of three of quartz stairs. So one, two, three. And then one, two, and three quartz full blocks down the center. Followed by three quartz stairs like that going back along the sides there. We're going to go then place down two more quartz full blocks down the center. Two quartz slabs to both sides. A quartz slab in the center. And then a polished anisite slab coming off like that going toward the back there. And once you have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have for um, that engine there. And we can also go ahead and go to this piston. If we go ahead and pull out our debug stick, if you're on Java, if we right click it, it'll turn this piston into a uh, pop up saying extended and true. And we'll create a nice design there for that piston there to help kind of create the flow here for that front engine pylon. Now, this isn't something that's completely necessary. As I mentioned, you could use a stair there instead, uh, but the kind of helps create that nice smoother transition. We are not going to touch these pistons back here yet because basically, if we went ahead and did that to those pistons and we place a block on top of them, they will revert back to that normal shape. So we're just going to leave those alone for right now. We'll come back to those a little bit later once we get the top of this wing uh, complete over those. Um, anyways, though, that right there is going to conclude what we have there for layer 5. Again, here is a top-down view of that layer complete. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number 6. And moving into our next layer, we have layer 6. Layer 6 here is going to be another difficult layer as we are going to continue work on the wings, building those up and all that. So uh, again, it is going to be a little bit of a challenging layer. Um, so again, just pay close attention and a lot of stuff and take your time for building these layers. To go ahead and get started though, uh, for our front center line, we're going to place down a stone block on top of this iron trap door. And then a quartz up sound stair coming off like that, facing toward the front. That right there is going to do it for our front center line. Moving to the back of the aircraft, we're going to go to the iron trap door here. We're going to place down a quartz full block, followed by a second block, and then a third block back, so you have a row of three. Two quartz top slabs, and the iron trap door there on the end. And that right there will make it the rear um, center line. From this point, we're going to start working our way out to the sides by going back up to the front and placing down an andesite wall next to this stone block. We're going to go back from the andesite wall, one, two, three, four, five stone full blocks. Going to the side of the last two stone full blocks, we're going to place down two anisite walls and then two like gray stingless panes going forward from that. Taking our stone blocks, we're going to go, ahead and go back from our anisite walls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, and 53 stone blocks back. I'm going to go double check our count, and it should be 53 stone blocks back from that and the site wall. After that long row of stone back, we're going to then place down a smooth quartz uh, full block, followed by a second block, a quartz top slab, and then an iron trap door. We're going to go to our inner row right here, place down a quartz full block on top of that iron trap door, then a second quartz block back, a third, then a quartz upside down stair. And then a quartz top slab coming off that upside down stair like that to go ahead and continue to uh, build that shape going up toward the back there. With that all complete, going ahead and moving into our wings. Uh, we're going to start off by placing down an iron trap door on top of this stone block here. We then want to place down three stone slabs back, so one, two, three. We're going to go ahead and then place down a red nether brick slab. And then a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone slabs back. And then two iron trap doors like so. Next row here is going to be a iron trap door. Or iron trap doors come out those three slabs there. We're going to then grab ourselves an acacia wood trap door. We can place down an acacia wood trap door here. Also, the block underneath the acacia wood trap door we can place with a red concrete block as well, just to kind of keep that red color a little bit more consistent, showing through um, those little gaps in the trap door. And then we can go and then place down one, two, three, four, and five iron trap doors back after that acacia wood uh, trap door. After that, we're going to then grab our acacia wood trap doors. We're going to place down one and two on these third and fourth red concrete blocks there from the front on that long line. We then want to place down one, two, three, four, five iron trap doors after that. 
Then a row of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven iron trapdoors. Then uh, we want to go and then place down a um, row of three coming off the front here. So one, two, three. Then taking our stone slabs, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three of stone slabs. After that, we're going to go then place down a row of two of iron trapdoors. So one, two, like that. Next row is going to be two iron trapdoors from the front there. Then one, two, three, four, five stone slabs. Actually, sorry, it's going to be six stone slabs, like that. And then we want to place down two iron trapdoors, one, two, going back. Now, at this point here, we're going to go ahead and also grab ourselves some light gray carpet. We're going to place down one, two, light gray carpet, one, two, one, two, like that, um, for um, covering up that section there. Now, after we get to this point, we're going to go and then place down iron trapdoor up here. Then a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, or just sorry, eight stone slabs back. And we're going to then place down two iron trap doors after that. Next row here is going to be an iron trap door on this section here. Polished andesite slab. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight stone slabs back. And this right here is going to be one iron trap door in the end there. After that, uh, we kind of get to, uh, or we're going to continue on by placing down a iron trap door on top of this polished andesite slab here. A uh, polished andesite slab back from the iron trap door. And then just a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stone slabs back. After that, we're going to place down a polished andesite slab coming off the side of this one. And then one more back. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone slabs back from those polished andesite. Our uh, next row is actually going to, we're actually going to go and make one quick change here. Uh, we want to go and go to our uh, stone slabs here. Our third and fourth from last, so these two right here were actually replaced with two stone stairs. So, just like that on the side there. Then we're gonna go ahead and place down a row of two polished andesite slabs right here. So one, two on top of those two iron trap doors, a stone slab, then a stone full block, and we're going to then place down a total of three more stone full blocks back, just like that. Then a stone slab, and then a polished andesite slab there on the very end, like that. Now, uh, continue on with our wing, we get into our engine pylon. We're going to go ahead and place down two iron trap doors right here. So on the second and third block there from the front, we're going to place down two of those. And then we want to go and then place down two stone slabs after that. We're going to go and then transition to stone full blocks. And this right here is going to be a row of stone full blocks going back a total of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then on the end here, we're going to place down a stone stair like so. And coming off that stone stair, we're going to place down two polished andesite slabs, like that going back. And going ahead and continue on, we're going to go and then place down a polished andesite stair next to this uh, stone full block right here. We're going to go ahead and go back from it with stone full blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to go ahead and go back seven. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a polished andesite full block and a polished andesite slab. Next row here is going to be a polished andesite slab here next to that stair. Polished andesite full block. And then a row of stone full blocks going back. One, two, three, four, five, six stone full blocks. A polished andesite full block and then a polished andesite slab like so. Our next row is going to be a uh, polished andesite slab come off the side of this polished andesite block. Then a near polished andesite block back from that. And then taking our stone blocks, we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks back. A polished andesite full block and a polished andesite slab. Next row is going to be a polished andesite slab coming off the side of this block. Polished andesite full block. Then we want to go ahead and do one, two, three stone full blocks and then one, two smooth quartz blocks followed by two polished andesite top slabs going back. Next row here, another polished andesite slab to the side of this one. A polished andesite full block behind it. And then one, two um, quartz full blocks, just like that. And then we want to go and then grab ourselves some quartz top slabs. We're going to place down two quartz top slabs and then two polished andesite top slabs after that. We're going to then place down a polished andesite slab next to this um, full block. And then a, f uh, or sorry, actually a top slab uh, next to this block. So like this. And then we're going to place down a second one back from it. We then want to go ahead and place down a uh, row of one, two, three and four uh, quartz top slabs back and then we're going to place down two polished andesite top slabs after that uh, we're going to then place down a 
polished inside top slab come off the side of this one. And then this right here is going to be one, two, three, and four quartz top slabs back again, and then two polished inside top slabs. Next row is going to be a quartz top slab coming off right here. So one, two, three, four, and five, and then two polished inside top slabs. We then want to place down one, two right here, followed by a row of one, two, three, and four iron trapdoors. Then a row of one, two, three, four, five iron trapdoors, followed by a row of four. So going to the second trapdoor out to the side. One, two, three, four. And then a row of one, two, three, four, and five. And then after that, uh, we're going to go ahead and have. Alright, guys, so uh, going back to our engine here, uh, we are going to go ahead and start off by placing down an iron trapdoor on top of this iron trapdoor right there, followed by a stone slab after that. And we then want to go ahead and follow this up by placing down a piston. That'll be right here. After that piston, we're going to place down a stone full block. And again, we can change this with a debug stick like so by right clicking it. And whatever you jo chose down there, if you're on a different uh, version of Minecraft, you can go ahead and obviously use that block in correspondence. Then going back from this stone block, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we want to go ahead and then delete these iron trap doors. So we have five, six, seven, eight, and or my bad, it's going to be a um, total of this many. So it's going to be a row of seven here of stone blocks. We're going to go then place down our two upside down pistons or a stone stair and then a stone slab, whatever you want to do there. So like that, we have our two pistons upside down. And we want to go then go after that with a stone top slab here on the end. So it's going to be just like that. And then to the outer side here, we're going to just place down a row of one, two, three, and four iron trap doors, just like that. And once we have that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up uh, what we have there for uh, this layer. And with that, uh, we should be good to go ahead and move on to our next layer, which will be layer number six. No, sorry, layer number seven. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number seven. Layer number seven here is going to continue to work our wing um, and uh, start to, again, build up the size of the aircraft a lot. So we do have quite a bit going on here still, um, but this is going to probably be one of the last difficult layers for the wing. And uh, the final layers here, or the next layer should conclude the wings altogether. So that right there is going to be a huge set of relief. As I always say, the wings are definitely the hardest part of this aircraft, or really any large aircraft. Well, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do for the, our center line is we're going to place down a quartz stair on top of this upside down one on the front, followed by a stone block behind that. We then want to go ahead and go to the very back of the tail here. We're going to place down one, two, three quartz full blocks. So first one starting on this iron trap door, and then two quartz top slabs after that on the end there. And that right there is going to do it for our center line. One quick adjustment we're also going to make to the outside here is we are going to go ahead and delete this one iron trap door right there. Um, so we should have three right there. We're going to go ahead and delete that one trap door next to that um, piston. And uh, one thing also we can do is on the bottom here, these two pistons, we have the blocks above them. We're not going to touch them anymore. We can go ahead and use our debug stick on those pistons to go ahead and finish that off on the bottom there. Um, but anyways, with that all complete, let's go ahead and start working our way out to the sides here. So to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a um, anisite wall on top of this one. Then one, two, three, and four stone blocks back. We then want to place down two light gray stainless panes come off these middle two stone blocks. And then an anisite wall like that going back. We're going to then place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, and 21 stone blocks back, followed by a black concrete block, then a stone block, and then another black concrete block, just like that. So my bad, those, stone, those black concrete blocks are actually left over from the KC-135, so we're actually going to go ahead and replace those with two stone blocks. So uh, basically this row here should be just more stone going back, so we should have 24 stone blocks continuing to work our way back. So we have 24, uh, we're going to then go 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, and 58 stone blocks back. Double checking our count here, again, should be 58 stone blocks back like that um, down the fuselage. Then on the back here, we're going to go ahead and place down a smooth quartz full block. Uh, after that, two smooth quartz top slabs, and then an iron trap door like that. We're going to go then go to the inside here of these top slabs. We're going to place down two quartz full blocks like so. And then after those two quartz full blocks, we're going to place down a upside down quartz stair, quartz top slab, and iron trap door like that afterwards. And that right there is going to form up our back. 
Continuing back up to the front, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. Come off the side of the stone block, and then a end rod going forward, like so. We then want to go ahead and count back to this third stone block here. We're going to place down one, two, three, like racing glass panes. Then a andesite wall. Followed by two stone brick walls, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44. And the side walls back, then two, or sorry, three, like race thing was paints back after that. Now once we have uh, that done on both sides, that's pretty much our fuselage um, all covered and good to go. So we have our fuselage pretty much done and we're going to go ahead and now start working our way out to our wings. Alright guys, so moving into our wings. To go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and go into this section right here. And we want to go ahead and place down one, two, and three iron trap doors right here. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five. After that row of five, we're going to then do one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, forward just like that Then after that uh, we want to go then place down one iron trap door here Followed by one two three stone slabs and then a iron trap door here on the front just like that Now this uh, top the slab right here We're actually going to go and swap out for a top slab as well as this slab right here We're also going to change over to a top slab as well to make that make a little bit more sense there um, Anyways though after we have that done uh, we want to go and then place down a polished dance light slab here in the front then going back from it, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stone slabs. Oh, sorry, my bad. Um, so this right here, this polished inside slab is actually going to be an iron trap door. And then this stone slab right here is going to be an iron trap door. So it should look like that there. My apologies on that one. Anyways, now at this point, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished inside slab here. And then going back from it, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4 stone blocks. And then a polished inside slab like that on the back there. We also want to go ahead and place down an iron trap door on top of this polished andesite top slab there. After we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and place down two polished andesite top slabs. Um, so one, two, right here. Actually, sorry, just one. We're going to go then place down one, two, three, four stone full burst slabs back, and then a polished andesite top slab like so. Next row is going to be one and two polished andesite top slabs, followed by one, two, three. Um, stone slabs back and then one two polished andesite slabs after that next row polished andesite slab here then one two three and four stone slabs back and then a polished andesite slab there after that we're going to place down a polished andesite slab here then one and two stone full blocks uh, or sorry two stone slabs two stone full blocks then after that we're going to place down a polished andesite slab right here and then a second one behind it like so. Alright guys so I just discovered um, a little bit of a uh, mix up here and um, it's pretty easy to fix fortunately. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to go to this polished andesite slab and we're going to place down one forward from this and then the block behind this could be a stone slab. Polished andesite slab here then stone slab behind it. This here is going to be a polished andesite slab. This one here but then we're going to swap out this slab here for a stone slab. A polished andesite slab here. Stone slab. Polished andesite slab stone slab and then we want to go and then uh, switch this third slab for a full block and then this um, full block will be a polished andesite slab and then we're going to delete this one on the back there so it should look like that so my apologies on that one um, I just want to give for taking a little bit of a break from it and try to come back and continue to finish this tutorial um, so uh, get a little mixed up uh, but yeah right there we'll basically uh, make the wing there or get us to where we should be we're going to go then place down two iron trap doors right here and then after that we want to go and then place down a uh, row of two of stone slabs so one and two back we're going to go and then place down one two three four five and six stone full blocks back and then a polished andesite slab there on the end our next row to the side here is going to be going to this second stone block we're going to place down a polished andesite top slab we're going to go and then place down a smooth quartz full block fall by one two three stone full blocks back and then two polished andesite top slabs like that going back like so. After we have that done, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, polished andesite top slab coming off the side of this one. Then a quartz top slab. Three quartz full blocks right here. Then a quartz top slab and then a polished andesite top slab. Next row here is going to be a polished andesite top slab. One, two, three, and four 
quartz top sides back, and then a narrow polished anisite top slab. Polished anisite top slab here, then one, two, three, and four quartz top sides back, and then a narrow polished anisite top slab. Next row is going to be a polished anisite top slab here, one, two, and three quartz top slabs back, and then an iron trap door. We're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door here, two quartz top slabs, and then two iron trap doors back. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of five of iron trap doors across like so. And then go into our second iron trap door. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to go then go one, two, three iron trap doors, and then one, two, and three. Just like that. And actually, we'll place down an iron trap door right there in that spot as well. Uh, but yeah, that right there will basically uh, form up our wing out to the side there. And obviously you're going to take the same thing and copy it over to the other side. My apologies on the little mix-ups here and there throughout that layer. Uh, obviously not my best layer, <laughs> basically uh, tutorial-wise. Uh, but I think we didn't mess up anything too major to where um, it would really throw you guys off. So just some minor little things and that's, that's what happens when you're trying to replicate something block by block. You know, you do miss those things from time to time. Anyways though, that is going to conclude layer number 7 for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and jump up to layer number 8. And moving into our next layer, we have layer 8. Layer 8 here is going to be a very fun layer because we are going to have the wings fully done after this layer. Thank God. Um, if you're like me, the wings are an absolute struggle bus and uh, they make me want to cry. And uh, maybe some tears were shed between layers. I guess that would be uh, for me to know and for you to, I guess, imagine. But uh, with that all said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, can't wait to finish these wings. Oh. Anyways, get started with, we're going to place down a dark oak trapdoor on top of this stone block here, a polished black stone slab behind it, and then three black concrete blocks after that. Alright, right there is going to do it for our front center line, and we're going to go and work our way to the back now. We're going to go up from this quartz top slab at an angle, place down two quartz full blocks, two quartz top slabs, and an iron trapdoor like that to go ahead and finish off our back center line. Moving back up to the front, we're going to start working our way out to the sides here. We're going to place down a wither skeleton to at a slight angle like that to both sides on the stone blocks next to the polished black stone slabs, a polished black stone stair back, and then two black concrete blocks after that. We're going to go then place down two uh, black stained glass panes coming off those two uh, black concrete blocks, and then one, two, three, and four stone blocks back after that. Going to the side here, we're going to place down two inside walls coming off those two stone blocks, as well as a uh, light gray stained glass pane like so. We then want to place down one and two stone full blocks back, followed by two polished anisite full blocks. And then after those polished anisite full blocks on the sides of those blocks, we're going to place down two birchwood buttons. Also up here in the front, above the skeleton skull, we're going to place down another skeleton skull and another end rod coming off of it, like that, facing toward the front. Once we get to this section, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks along the side here. We're going to place down two uh, gray stained glass panes coming off the first two, then one, two, three andesite walls, and then one light gray stained glass pane there on the end. Once we have that done, we're going to place down one more additional stone block, and then grabbing ourselves a skeleton skull. We're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off the side of that stone block like so. And that right there will kind of do it for our little uh, pods or little um, kind of tumors or little humps that pop off the side there of the, uh, the fuselage. So that'll be the start of those. Uh, but anyways, after that, Going back from the stone block, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and uh, we're going to stop at 38. I'm going to double check my count here as I did uh, make a few little mistakes there building backwards. And it is going to be 38 blocks like that. If we count in total from this andesite wall, or sorry, from this polished andesite one all the way back, this is going to be a total of 45. So it's another uh, count there you can get going backwards. Anyways, at the back here, we're going to then uh, take our andesite walls. We're going to place down one, two, three, and or sorry, only two andesite walls back. And then one, two, three light gray stainless paints after those. On the inside here of those five blocks, we're going to place down five stone blocks. And then an additional one and two that stick out toward the back here. We're going to go then place down two stone brick walls. Followed by two stone blocks on the inside there of those walls. And then two white stained glass panes coming off those two stone brick walls. On the inside here, we're going to place down one, two, three smooth quartz full blocks. Followed by a smooth quartz upside down stair right here. And then two smooth quartz tops as back like that for um, continuing the uh, back of the fuselage. And that right there will pretty much complete the fuselage. Just double checking to make sure I'm not missing anything. And um, 
we kind of are. Um, this is something I'm going to come back to in a second. So um, keep that on the back burner. We're going to come back to those in a second. We're going to try to finish our wings off here before we go and talk about that um, right on the side of the aircraft. Uh, but with that, let's go ahead and move into our uh, wings. All right, guys. So moving into our um, outer layers or outer layer of for the wings. To go ahead and get started with here, we're going to take our light gray carpet. We're going to place down one, two, three, four across this section right here. And then one, two, light gray carpet right here. Then we're going to place down a row of one, two, three light gray carpet. Then two iron trap doors. Next row here is going to be one light gray carpet right here. And then one, two, and three iron trap doors. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four. Um, and five iron trap doors back. Then one, two up there in the front, two stone slabs back, and then a polished andesite slab. Next section here, we're going to place down a polished andesite slab, followed by two stone slab, or sorry, three stone slabs back, and then a polished andesite slab. Place down an air polished andesite slab here, then one, two, three stone slabs back, and an air polished andesite slab like that. Polished andesite slab on top of that iron trap door, one, two, three, and four stone slabs back, and air polished andesite slab on top of that iron trap door, one, two, three stone slabs back. And then we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three stone slabs on those last iron trap doors there. And then a row of one, two, three, and four, and rods coming back from that stone slab. And that'll be the same thing on both sides there. And once you have those both built on both sides, you have the wings entirely complete for this aircraft. So uh, give yourself a pat on the back for that one. Uh, we will not have to worry about the wings anymore until we get to the um, horizontal stabilizers, which are nothing in comparison to uh, how big of a pain these are. Anyways, at this point, I do want to go ahead and take time to talk about the U.S. Air Force, you can see written on the side of the aircraft. Now, this here is done using light gray banners and black writing. Um, I'm not going to be going ahead and going into how to make each one of these banners um, in game. Uh, what I'm going to recommend for you to do is to go ahead and look up a uh, plenty of those tutorials out there that show you guys how to make these letter banners. If you've done some of my tutorials in the past, you've probably actually had these banners sitting on an aircraft as well, so you can go ahead and grab those uh, from that aircraft. But um, it's overall pretty simple, and the positioning of them is also super simple. So after the skeleton skull on the left side, so we're going to talk about the left side first, we're going to go ahead and place down, uh, we have our two first two stone blocks. So we have one, two, and we're going to go to our third one, and that's where we're going to place our first banner. We're going to place this U banner, followed by this little dot banner. Then we have S, the dot banner again, we're going to put a space, followed by A, I, R. And then on the, again, this is the left side, left side only, we're going to place down a birchwood button right here on this side of the stone block. And then we have F, O, R, C, E. And that right there will basically spell U.S. Air Force on the side of the aircraft in banners. Now on the other side, it's uh, going to be obviously a little bit different. Uh, we want to go ahead and count uh, back to this last banner right here so this is going to be our um 16th stone block back from this stone block with the skeleton skull so again we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen so this right here is where we're going to start our banners we're going to place down our u our dot s dot space a i r after that we're going to go then uh Place down our force, so we'll go ahead and grab the necessary banners for that. So we have F O R C E. So you have U.S. Air Force reading left to right on both sides. So you want it to be positioned like that on both sides. Again, that's pretty important to have it uh, correctly labeled like that. You don't want it to be looking all weird and reading, you know, backwards and all that stuff. So just make sure it's like that on both sides. Uh, we do not have the birchwood button on this side that we'd be placing. Um, just do the positioning of the writing, uh, prohibits that. But anyways, that right there is going to conclude what we have for, uh, that layer and, uh, what we have to really do. That right there will conclude layer number, uh, eight for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number nine. All right, guys. So moving into our next layer, we go ahead and moving into layer number nine. For layer 9 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and go to the nose of the aircraft. We're going to place down a black stained glass block on top of this second black concrete block right here. Going back from it, we're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 uh, more black stained glass blocks. So you have a total of 4. And then on the end here, if you want to close off the interior, so you don't want to have a massive void into an empty aircraft if you are not doing an interior, we're just going to place down a black concrete block here in the end. 
We can also go ahead and extend the black concrete rows on the bottom here by two more blocks like this if you are wanting to do the same thing to try to close off that cockpit area so that you're not looking into just a pure void um, when you're uh, flying by the aircraft or whatever if you are not doing an interior. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for our center line for the front. Let's go to the back. Back pretty simple like usual. We're going to place down a quartz block on top of this iron trap door. Two quartz blocks back, save a total of three there, and then two quartz top slabs to finish that off. Anyways, that's it for the back. Let's go ahead and start working our way to the sides. We're going to place down a black stained glass pane here to the side, followed by three black stained glass full blocks back, and again, a black concrete block here if you are on or plan on closing that area off. To the sides of these two black stained glass blocks, we're going to place down two black stained glass panes and then a polished black stone stair like so, followed by one, two, and three stone full blocks back. We're going to go then grab ourselves a stone stair. We're going to place down a stone stair like this to the side, as well as a stone slab on top of this stone block here. We're going to go ahead and take our polished andesite stairs. We're going to place down two polished andesite stairs back, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stone blocks back after that. To the sides here, we're going to place down two light gray stainless panes here, then one, two, three, and four andesite walls, and then one and two light gray stainless panes. Um, Pains going back like that for those little um, bulges on the side. After this uh, stone block there, we're going to go and switch to stone stairs, placing down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stone stairs, and then a black stained glass block. Again, if you don't want the uh, interior to be visible from the outside, we can go ahead and place in a black concrete block behind those black stained glass blocks to close that area off. We're going to go then place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Stone stairs back. We're going to go ahead and place down two andesite walls like this going back. Then one, two, and three. Like gray stained glass panes on the inside here of the stone or the andesite walls and the glass panes. We're going to place down five stone blocks. Fall by one more additional to make it six. Then a polished andesite block here. On the side of that block, we're going to place down a birchwood button, as well as a stone brick wall coming off this uh, polished andesite block. After that uh, stone brick wall, we're going to place down an andesite wall, and then we're going to then place down two light gray stainless panes going back from that wall. On the inside here of the walls and the group, uh, light gray stainless, we're going to place down four stone blocks, followed by an additional one, two, and three back, so you have a total of seven. We're going to then place down a quartz a row of two quartz full blocks down the center and then two white stained glass panes like that along the sides there. And that right there will basically conclude what we have for uh, the fuselage for this layer and I think that's actually entirely it for this layer. Um, besides the one thing that we are going to cover which is going to be this National Star Insignia located on the side of the aircraft. So um, with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab the necessary materials to show you guys how to make those banners, and we'll go ahead and dive into that. Alright guys, and go ahead and move it into our National Star Insignia banner. Pretty simple to make these banners. To, need, to make it, we're going to obviously need a loom, a white banner, two blue banners, four white dye, one red dye, and two light gray dye. We're going to start off with placing our loom. We're going to go ahead and go into it. We're going to place down our white banner. We're going to do our red dye in our banner, do the horizontal line through the center. And then we're going to go ahead and place down our light gray dye. We're going to do the line across the top there horizontally in the line across the bottom and that creates our first banner like so. Next ones are going to be pretty simple. Uh, we're going to place down our blue dye and we're actually not going to be using like our white dye. That is actually going to be light gray dye. So I'm going to go ahead and swap those out real quick. Um, so it should be light gray dye. So you'll want four, four light gray dye. Uh, but basically back going back into our loom we're going to place down our blue banners and our light gray dye. We're going to select the bottom uh, left hand corner and then the top left hand corner like that for this banner and then the next one is going to be the bottom right hand corner and the top right hand corner like that to go ahead and make this banner and we get these two banners or these three banners that's the same and to place them super simple we're going to go to this st last stone stair here our striped banner our two bl blue banners facing toward each other like so and then our other striped banner like that next to it and that really is it for the national star insignia it's the same thing on both sides there and once you have that all complete, that is going to wrap up what we have there for uh, layer number 9. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to layer number 10. For our next layer, layer 10, we're going to start off by going ahead and going to the front up here. We're going to place down a stone slab on top of that second black stained glass block. And then two stone blocks back from it for the front center line. Moving to the back center line, we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz full block on top of this one right here. 
So, uh, right, the one that connects that white stained glass pane. So, right on top of that, followed by one, two, three, and four more. So, you have a total of five, and should stick one past this quartz top slab on the rear there. After that, though, going back up to the front, we're going to start working our way out to the sides. We're going to place down a daylight detector to the side of the slab, turn it to night mode, a stone slab, and then a stone stair. We then want to go ahead and continue on, but place down a light gray carpet on top of this pane here, and then a daylight detector, turn that to night mode, and we're going to go ahead and follow it up with two stone slabs back, and then... Um, after those two stone slabs on the inside here, we're going to place down two stone full blocks, like so. Um, after those stone slabs, we're going to place down a stone stair, and then a stone corner stair, right here next to it, like so. We then want to place down a row of two of polished andesite ups and down stairs, like so. And then we're going to place down black stained glass blocks directly behind them. Now at this point right here, um, if you want to close this off, you can. You can place down some black concrete. Uh, underneath this section here or whatever so it doesn't have any awkward um, little gaps there or whatever um, you can go ahead and also place down black concrete around these glass panes if you don't want um, there to be any visibility into the inside here uh, again not really a huge deal if it is it's kind of a smaller slot there so really not that big of a deal uh, but kind of again up to you guys on what you want to do there so anyways after that continue on we're going to go and then take our stone blocks going back from our anisite one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen stone blocks back so far. We're gonna go ahead and then place down three birchwood buttons on these last three blocks we just placed. So again, we have our stone blocks so far being a row of eighteen. Then we're gonna go ahead and continue on. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, stone blocks back, then two polished inside upside down stairs, like so, and then two black stained glass full blocks, and again we can do the same thing we did up in the front there, is just taking some black concrete and kind of closing these glass paints off, so you can't really see into the voids um, of the vehicle, or of the aircraft. Like so. So it's kind of closing that area off again if you're not doing an interior. Then we're going to go back from the, the glass. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stone blocks. Then two inside walls, a diorite wall, and then two white stained glass panes going back. Now after that's all done, uh, we then want to go ahead and go to the sides here. We're going to place down two inside walls here, two white stained glass panes. And then after that, we're going to take our iron trap doors. Go back one, two, three, four, five, and six iron trap doors. Then a row of one, two, three, four, five. Then another row of five, so one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to place down three coming off the middle three iron trap doors like that. And that right there will basically uh, be the start there of our horizontal stabilizers. With that all out of the way, going back up to the front here of the aircraft, we also want to go ahead and place down an iron trap door on top of the stone block, followed by one, two, three, four, and five back. So you have a total of six there all on the sides. And with that all complete, uh, that right there is going to finish off what we have here for layer 10 of the build. Just trying to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. And everything does appear to be good to go. So with that, that is going to conclude layer 10. Let's move on to layer number 11. Alright guys, moving into our next layer. We'll be going ahead and moving into layer number 11. For layer 11, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to be going ahead and going to the uh, front here and basically building our center line. We're going to go ahead and start off by placing an iron trap door on top of the second stone block. Two polished black stone slabs back from it and an air polished black stone full block. We then want to take our stone full blocks and place down a long row of stone full blocks going all the way down till we get to the last quartz block on the end here. And we're going to place down a stone full block. Followed by a skeleton skull on the end here. And this right here is going to be a row of 70 stone blocks back. So a very long row going all the way down our spine of our aircraft. After that, going to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak trap door next to the slab. Followed by a stone slab back from that. And then a polished black stone slab next to that polished black stone full block. Another stone slab, and then one and two stone stairs. We can also take some birchwood buttons, and we're just going to place them on top of these two um, upside down um, andesite stairs, like so. After that, though, we're going to take our stone stairs, continuing on. We're going to go ahead and place down three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. 
Um, so after our 40th stair, I'm just going to go ahead and go back up here. Yep, it's going to be our 40th stair back. We want to go ahead and go to the side here. We're going to place down a polished black stone stair like that. A polished black stone wall. And then two andesite walls like that. And those will be the start there of our supports for the uh, ray dome. Anyways, after that, we're going to continue on from our stone stair. We have 41. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, and 68 stone blocks back. And then a light gray stigma pane there on the very end. Uh, you could also place down a skeleton skull. Um, might actually kind of fit the shape of this back here a little bit better. So we'll place down a skeleton skull on both sides there to kind of uh, make the back look a little bit nicer. Anyways, um, at that point, we are going to go ahead and then also grab our birchwood buns and place down two on top of those two stairs there. And then grab our polished dance site. We're going to place down two polished dance site slabs on top of those two iron trap doors. Then one, two, three, and four stone blocks back, or stone slabs back, and then two polished dance site slabs. Next row is going to be a polished dance site slab here, followed by one, two, and three stone slabs, then a stone stair. And after that uh, stone stair, we're going to place down two polished dance site slabs. Next row is going to be a polished andesite slab here, a stone slab, then one, two, three, stone full blocks back, and then two polished andesite slabs. We're going to then place down a polished andesite slab here, a stone block. Behind that stone block, we're going to place down a row of quartz full blocks. So it's going to be one, two, three quartz full blocks, and then one and two polished andesite top slabs. Our next row is going to be a polished andesite top slab coming off the side here like so we then want to place down a row of two of course upside down stairs so one two and then one and two quartz top slabs back followed by a polished andesite top slab next row here polished andesite top slab one two three quartz top slabs back or sorry four and a polished andesite top slab at the end there place down there polished andesite top slab here then one two three Quartz top slabs back and an air polished andesite top slab like that right there. And then once we get to this point, uh, we're going to then take our iron trap doors. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three iron trap doors, then one, two, three, and then one, two, and then one like that. And looking at from above here, this is what it should look like for the top down view. Once you have a uh, those horizontal stabilizers transferred over to both sides. And with that all done, that right there is going to conclude what we have for layer number 11. And uh, with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, layer number 12. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer 12. For layer 12, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a birchwood button on top of this first stone block here, then a andesite wall, and we want to go then place down two birchwood buttons back from the andesite wall. We're going to go ahead and then skip one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven spaces. We're going to go ahead and then place down an andesite wall. Skip two spaces, a stone stair facing uh, facing the front, back facing toward the rear. And then we're going to skip three spaces again, another stone stair. Skip three spaces again, a stone stair. And skip one, two, three, four, and five spaces, and then a stone stair. We're going to go ahead and then skip one, two, three, four, five, six spaces, and then another stone stair. Skip a space, a redstone repair with the notches spread apart like so. Then skip one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven spaces. Another stone stair like so. And then uh, back from the stone stair, one, two, three, four, five spaces. We're going to then place down an andesite wall. Skip a space, and then two iron trap doors, a stone slab, a stone stair, and then a row of stone full blocks back from that stone stair. That's going to be a total of nine. And then three quartz full blocks on the end with an iron trap door like that. We're also going to place down a stone button to both sides of this quartz full block right here, the first one, like so. In addition, back up here in the front, we're going to place down one, two, and three inside walls on top of those three walls from the previous layer as well for continuing those supports building up the side there. With that done, uh, going ahead and moving back to our horizontal stabilizers, we're going to go ahead and continue to expand upon these. And I think this actually right here will complete these for actually for the most part. Uh, but basically for these, super simple, we're going to take our light gray carpet, we're going to place down one, two, three here. Then we're going to go and do one, two, and then grab our iron trap doors. We're going to go and do one, two iron trap doors. We're going to then place down one, two, three, four iron trap doors. One up here. And then we're going to go and then place down two stone slabs, and then an iron trap door here on the back. Like so, or actually, 
it's going to be an iron trap door on the front here, like that. We're going to move this stone slab forward one, and then this can be an iron trap door right there instead of that stone slab. So it's going to look like that. We're going to place down polished inside slab next to that iron trap door. Then a row of one, two, three stone slabs back from that. After those three stone slabs, we're going to place down a polished inside slab. Next row is going to be a polished inside slab here. Then one, two, three stone slabs back, and then a polished inside slab again. We're going to place down a polished inside slab here. Two stone slabs back, polished inside slab. Then a polished inside slab here, stone slab, and an air polished inside slab directly after that. And that right there will basically do it for uh, our horizontal stabilizers for the tail here. And uh, that's going to pretty much conclude what we have there for layer 12. At this uh, point here, we're going to kind of divert um, into exactly what we're doing. So uh, we're going to basically build layers, or the final layers here, basically involving the tail and all that stuff. We're not going to do the ray dome just yet. We're going to kind of leave that separate. And we're going to build up the ray dome kind of separately, make it a little bit easier for us. Um, so with this, we're going to kind of move into finishing the main structure of the aircraft. And then after that, we'll be moving into the ray dome. And then after that, the uh, landing gear for those of you that want to build this landed. So we're almost there. Uh, the light's at the end of the tunnel. Let's go ahead and move into our final layers. All right, guys. So moving into our final layers, we have layers 13 through 25. As I mentioned, these layers here are going to basically just involve doing the tail and mainly basically anything that's all part of the main structure of the aircraft. And we'll be going ahead and throwing the radar, ray dome on at the... Um, the end kind of is a separate little layer by layer type thing. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to be going ahead and going to some of these stone stairs. So starting with this one, we're going to go ahead and then place down a skeleton skull on top and then one skeleton skull come off that toward the back. Delete that first skeleton skull and then an end rod like that. We're going to go ahead and skip this stair, but this stair right here will do the same thing. Like so. And also for this stair here. And also for this stair. And then we're going to go all the way back to the stair here. And again, get to that same pattern going like that. We can also go ahead and go to these three inside walls and just build these up one more like that for those uh, braces there. And again, that's all we're going to touch for right now. We'll kind of get back to that a little bit later. At this point, though, uh, we're going to go ahead and basically start working on our tail. So after our stone block here, we're going to place down a stone stair. We're going to then take our stone blocks and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone blocks back. Then one, two, three, quartz full blocks. Stone button on both sides of this first quartz full block. So just like that. And then we want to go and then take a light gray stained glass pane. And we're going to place it down on the, um, or actually we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, we're going to go and continue going up. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone block here, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks back from that. Then one, two, three, uh, quartz full blocks. Then our stone button here to both sides of this first one, and then a light gray. Or actually, we're gonna go ahead and do a white stained glass pane on the back here. So white stained glass pane like that. After we have that done, we're gonna go then place down a, a stone block on top of this section here. Going back from that stone block, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks, like so. One, two uh, quartz blocks, and then a white stained glass pane. Again, stone buttons on the sides here of this first quartz block like so. Moving on up, we're going to go ahead and then place down a light gray stained glass pane on top of this block here. Then we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks. Two smooth quartz blocks and then a stone button on both sides of this first smooth quartz block. Then on the end, we're going to go and grab ourselves some diorite walls, which we can grab from down here. And we're going to place down a diorite wall on the end here like so. After that, we're going to place down a uh, stone block on top of here. Then one, two, three, four, five back. And again, one, two, smooth quartz. Stone buttons here to both sides. And then a dire wall here on the end. Continuing to go up, we're going to place down a stone block on top of this one right here. Then one, two, three, four blocks back. One, two, quartz, full blocks. Stone button to both sides here. And then a narrow quartz block back side. So actually, should be a row three there. Once we have that done, um, move it up to our next row. We're going to place down a light gray stained glass pane here. Then a stone block behind it. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab ourselves some TNT blocks. For our American flag, we're going to do a row three of TNT blocks. Then a stone block. And then two smooth quartz blocks back. Stone buttons on both sides of this first smooth quartz block. 
Uh, continue on up, we're going to place down a stone block on top of this one. Then we're going to follow it up with a blue concrete block. Like so. Stone button on both sides of the blue concrete like that. And then we're going to go ahead and place down one and two TNT blocks. Stone block, two smooth quartz blocks, stone buttons on both sides of this block here. And a white stained glass pane on the back there like that. Next row going up is going to be a row of one, two, three, four um, stone blocks. And then two smooth quartz blocks, stone buttons on both sides of this first quartz block, and then a white stained glass pane on the end there. Again, going up this section here, we get into our tail flash. Now, our tail flash here, you can do whatever color you guys want, um, concrete-wise. Uh, for me, I went ahead and just chose red. Um, you guys, again, can do whatever you want. You can base this off real aircraft uh, or whatever. Um, but for me, I just did red. And really simply, all we're going to do is place down a uh, red stained glass pane on top of this block. One, two, three, four, and five uh, red concrete blocks back. And it does help also to have a wall that matches your color. So for us, we have red nether brick. Um, so real handy. We can place down a red nether brick wall there on the end there. Um, you may have to kind of find the best thing, best fit there on the back if you obviously um, are kind of playing at, or playing without uh, or wanting to do like a different color like green or whatever. Uh, you have to do like mossy cobblestone or whatever. You know, you kind of get the basic gist. So I'll let you guys figure that out for yourself. Then on top here, one, two, three, four stone blocks. Followed by a quartz full block and then a diorite wall. We're also going to be placing down a stone button on the sides here of this quartz block. Continuing up again, we're going to place down one, two, three uh, stone blocks. Then one, two quartz full blocks. Stone buttons again on the sides here of this block here. And then going forward from this, we're going to go ahead and grab a birchwood fence gate. As well as end rods. We're going to place down a birchwood fence gate like so. And then one, two, three, and four four end rods going forward like that after that we'll just go ahead and take our daylight detectors and we're just going to place down one two and three on top here and change those to night mode like that to go ahead and make the top of our vertical stabilizer now at this point right here i also want to go ahead and mention the opportunity to go ahead and add the tail number and also the aircraft uh, kind of base um, designation so for this um i didn't really base this off anything in particular um this is just kind of uh you know some random numbers you can obviously build base this off of a real uh aircraft or whatever you want um, again it's kind of up to you guys uh, but basically this section here is going to be designated to your aircraft number so it's gonna be a five digit number and that'll be located on this side again we're just going to read uh left to right so you have six zero zero two one is going to be our aircraft tail number now at this point we also want to go ahead and put the basically base designation so where this base belongs to every base has a two letter um, code. So for this, we just did AK. Um, you can go ahead and obviously change that to whatever you guys want. Over here, AK as well. Um, seems like maybe some kind of Alaskan base or something like that. Uh, but yeah, you'll just have to kind of change it and do whatever you uh, need to do to fit your needs, and you can do whatever numbers or letters you want. Again, uh, those will be left open for you to find tutorials um, on YouTube to go ahead and do the exact ones you want, since there's plenty of different things you can do for this. Um, anyways, though, that right there is going to conclude what we have for layers 13 through 25. And at this point in the tutorial, we'll be going ahead and moving into our um, ray dome, and then from there, our landing gear. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our ray dome. Moving into our final section of the uh, kind of main, I guess, design for the aircraft is going to be the ray dome um, being added onto the rear of the aircraft. So uh, basically, to go ahead and get started with this thing, uh, we'll dive right into it. So, uh, obviously, we have these kind of uh, stilts that we started to build, or these little, um, you know, basically pillars that are going to be supporting this. So, we're just going to go ahead and build these pillars and continue to build up. We're going to go ahead and build up a total of another row of three that's going to go above this one. We're going to then go in toward the inside here, place down a row of three going up as well, followed by a second row of three, a third row, and then we want to go and then place down a fourth row like this on top. In the center here, we're going to go to the middle space between those anisite walls. We're going to place down three stone top slabs, and it should connect over to the other side like so. So we have our three stone top slabs down the center there. We're going to go then place down one, two, three, four going toward the front, and one, two, three, four going toward the back. After those stone top slabs, we're going to then place down a row of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four along the side there. We're going to then grab our polished black stone top slabs. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
polished blackstone top steps. We're going to then follow that up with a second row of nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. After that, we're going to then grab our polished blackstone again. We're going to do a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then a row of one, two, three, like that. And the same thing will be done over on the other side. Just a note, you can also rotate this. You can have the stone going this way. You don't have to have it going vertically like this as well. Uh, obviously, this thing does rotate, so you do have the playability of kind of doing what you guys want there. Uh, but anyways, with that out of the way, that's right there is going to do it for that section. Going up to our next layer here for the dome, we're going to go place down a row of stone uh, full blocks. That's going to go on top of those stone top slabs from the previous layer, so down the center here. So we should have 11. We're going to then place down a additional 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stone top slabs. Stick it out toward the front, and then 5 going off toward the back here. We're going to then place down another row of stone going all the way across here. This is going to be a row of 21. And it's just going to run all the way along the side here like so. We're going to then take our black concrete and do a row of 21 as well. After that, we're going to then do two rows of 19. So like that, with an indent on both sides. Then a second row of 19. All the way like that forward. And it's actually going to be, yep, two rows. And then we're going to do two rows of 17. So again, just like we did before, going all the way along the side here, indent on the ends. So just like that. Then after that, we're going to then do a row of 15 across like so. We're going to then do a row of 13 across like that. Then after that, a row of 9. like that and then we just want to go do a row of five like so and there, there is going to make your larger circle that's going to go all the way around obviously you take the same thing down the sled flip it over the other side as we were uh, doing before then up on top here we're going to go, and go to our center um, space so this right here is our center space right here uh, we're going to place down a stone slab on top and we're going to go five in each direction so one two three uh, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to then do another row of nine all the way across. Like so. Take our polished blackstone. We're going to then do a row of uh, nine across as well. That's actually, sorry, a row of 11. So row 11, then row of nine. And then we're going to do a second row of nine. Across like so. Then a row of seven. And then a row of three, like that. And that'll make the top there of the dome. And that right there will basically uh, conclude the uh, ray dome for the top of the um, top of the aircraft. And with that all complete, that right there is going to complete the in-flight version of the aircraft. And at this point, the pretty much the last thing we have to do for this tutorial is to move on to the landed version and show you guys how to put the landing gear on for those of you that do want a nice landed model. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the landed version. All right, guys, I'm going ahead and moving into our landing gear. For our landing gear, we'll be going ahead and going to the bottom of the front here of the fuselage. We want to go ahead and count back one, two, and our third uh, quartz full block. We're going to go ahead and break that block, and in this place, we're going to place down a diorite wall. We can then replace or break two blocks back from that uh, wall, like so. Up above this, we'll just take some smooth quartz and just place down a row of three of smooth quartz like this to go ahead and close off the wheel bay, just like that. We're going to drop down another diorite wall. We're going to go ahead and skip a space and then place down a quartz top slab. In that space right here, we're going to go ahead and place down an anvil. To the sides here, we're going to place down a polished blackstone upside down stair. Stair on top, two stairs on the back here. Same thing over here as well, just like that for your wheel. We're going to then place down a dark oak wood or a birchwood fence gate, come off this wall like this. And we then want to place down a row of three, of course, upside down stairs across. And same thing will be done over here. So just like that. And then two polished blackstone buttons on the backs here of these two stairs like so. And that right there will basically do it for the front landing gear. Let's go ahead and move on to the back. Alright guys, and going ahead and moving on to the back landing gear. Now for the back landing gear, we'll be going ahead and going to this section right here. We want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and counting uh, this row of iron trapdoors. So this back section here with these three iron trapdoors, we're going to go to this row of five. We're going to go ahead and uh, skip one quartz top slab, and then we're going to go ahead and replace our next quartz top slab here with an 
direct wall. This direct wall is going to go ahead and drop down one additional block, like so. And then a uh, after that second block, we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz full block. And then a quartz top slab here on the bottom. We're going to go one top slab forward and one back like so. We then want to place down a uh, polished black stone stair like this. Come off the side of this top slab to both sides. Two stairs on, or a stair on top. And two stairs on the back here, like that. And then we're going to go ahead and build our next wheel right next to it, placing down our two stairs like so. So just like we did for the other side. After that, on the back here, we're going to place down a lever on top of this quartz top slab, uh, flick toward that quartz block, and we then want to place down a end rod that'll be in between these stairs here. Uh, for the front section here, we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate in between those stairs, just like that. Now, once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then take our uh, smooth quartz. We're going to place down or replace this iron trap door here with a smooth quartz block as well as this block right here will be replaced with a smooth quartz block as well. Now what we're going to do at this point is we're going to go ahead and then take our stairs. We're going to place down two smooth quartz upside down stairs like this next to it. So it comes down like so. After that we're going to break this quartz top slab then these two quartz full blocks and then this section here we're going to go ahead and break this iron trap door this quartz full block and then we're going to break these blocks out to the side and this quartz full block as well, just like so. And we're also going to go ahead and break, down, break one more row back, just like this. So you have this section here that's kind of broken out of the um, of the inside here. Now what we can do here is we can go ahead and take our quartz blocks. We're going to go ahead and just place down a row across the top, top here, like that, to, fill, to close that space off. And then we can also take our iron trap doors and place iron trap doors there. And this is just going to kind of create your little wheel well. We're going to then place down a quartz slab like this, come off that direct wall. It's going to go up to a uh, top slab, like so. Then a half slab and a top slab, so it just kind of connects up into the inside there, into this area. We'll just place down some direct walls here in the sides, an end rod that kind of goes across like that for a little bit of detailing on the inside there. And um, really, that's about it for uh, the landing gear. And you'll just take that same design and copy it over to your side and you pretty much have your landing gear there for the back. We will be going ahead and making some banners real quick which will be used to make these wheels look a little bit more spicy. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the necessary materials to make those and I'll see you guys here in a sec to make those banners. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving in and making these banners, they're really simple to make. You're just going to need a loom, two black banners, two white dye, and four black dye. We're going to go and go into our loom, we're going to place down our black banners and our white dye. We're going to do the line vertically on the left side for one banner with our white line. And then one line vertically on the right side, and you get two banners that look like this. Both banners here are going to be placed back into our looms, as, long as, our, as well as our black die. We're going to do a line across the bottom there, and a line across the top horizontally to create this banner. And same thing will be done for the other one, like so. And basically in doing so, you create these two banners that look like this. These banners here will be placed on these polished black stone stairs, just like this, on the sides of these stairs with the white portion facing to each, toward each other. And the same thing will just be applied to all these stairs, like this, all the way around like that to go ahead and make those wheels. And once you have that done, you'll just take that landing gear design, flip it over to your side, and you'll have your landed version complete here for the E3 Century. Anyways though, with that guys, thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you guys do enjoy this build and are put to good use. If you do end up using it, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. This can be a thing from the sound of the build, tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear your social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, your freezer for projects you guys are working on overall enjoy the build, have fun with it and all that fun stuff. With that though, thank you guys again uh, for so much for watching. A big special thanks to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed again for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. And uh, with that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gear 204, and I'll see you guys next time.